hi welcome back to another artist vlog kind of video in this one i am going to make in this one i want to make a new riso prints um i've made several videos about riso printing before to me it's quite a new technique i've been doing it for a year or so i haven't done it much and i am really really i just really feel like no that's not english i just really felt like making a new one again i think i explained it in another video of mine that I go to these monthly evenings at the printmaking studio where you can just go in and create something. To me, these monthly printmaking evenings are really the thing that got me into printmaking again and really got me into, back into illustrating, making art. So they are really, really special to me and I try to never skip one. And I really want to make a new thing for every month so i just get there with something new and for this time i wanted to make a visa print and my theme for that print is gonna be new york where i just been on holiday last week i am honestly still a little jet lagged but <laughs> i'm just gonna go and try and make a decent print and also a hopefully decent video first of all new york i just went a week to new york i went with a friend and that's why I didn't really film anything and just these fake little stories that I have. I really enjoyed the city. It was so weird to finally see all the backdrops in all the TV shows and movies that I've watched over the years. And to see it in real life, it's just just like it in movies. And such a weird idea. And we did quite a lot of things. And I think one of my favorite things was visiting the MoMA. And seeing the Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh was honestly it felt like a religious experience it made me almost emotional which for me it's really weird but just realizing that i might never see it again it made me feel so weird i just i i didn't want to leave and i just stood there for so long and looking at it and it was such an amazing museum as well there were so many many amazing artworks and it was just really great i really loved that i also really loved seeing different kind of birds like the red cardinal bird or the blue jay and these birds we don't have here in europe or at least not in the netherlands so that was really really fun and just you know the yellow taxis or cabs i guess is what you call them but also the little things like the guggenheim museum or People walking uh, like 10 dogs, you know, the professional dog walkers. I just found that really funny as well and very typical. And also I really enjoyed the mini print vending machine and from a girl I follow on Instagram. And now I have like these little personal prints and it feels like such a great souvenir. I really, really loved it as well. And just the whole vibe, taking pictures, it was just really really lovely and some things you, you will see here but i've not really talked about yet is sketching i usually don't really sketch and for the last year or so i finally am more of a sketcher that sounds weird but what i'm trying to say is that i have really have a love hate relationship with drawing and i've made a video about it before about how i hate my art and how art school was kind of a traumatizing experience for me and slowly it slowly slowly i am finding my love back for drawing and sketching and the highlights for me was also sketching in the public library and sketching in central park and i really love doing that so for me this print felt like also an ode to that moment i guess that i had but a little spoiler the print that i have ended up making i don't really like i hate it honestly but I guess that's all part of the process anyway. And this is quite a long video, so I hope you don't mind. And, you know, maybe you can put it on in the background or anything. But um, yeah, that's my voiceover so far. So the progress of the last evening that I did some drawing. Um, I've got quite far. I've got so many ideas, so I got a little stuck. And didn't know really where to go <laughs> but um, this is a little test for the colors and maybe textures I really like the watercolors and I got a new like fake Posca marker in a neon pink color because I want to use the neon pink in the Rizzo so 
just felt this could be easy. I really like it. It's really good, even though it's fake. And then I got to the sketch for just a fake sketch. This is like a vaguer sketch. And then I just wanted to see how the colors would, look, uh, would turn out. Never mind the black. I'm not going to use the black. I don't really uh, like that in the Miso prints. But um, yeah, it was fun to do. And I really like the colors. I really want to use the blue, green and pink. I think it's going to make a blend and make a nice teal as well. I just, I just don't know about the sketch. The thing is, uh, this is like a self-portrait of me sitting in a coffee shop with lots of plants because I like plants, but I'm also in New York. So I have my little basic white girly MoMA tote bag <laughs> because I went to the MoMA. That's why it's also the moon of the Vincent van Gogh's Starry Nights, which I really, really, really love. That was like a sacrilegious moment, I guess. Is that the word? Anyway, and it's the Empire State Building. It could also be like the Statue of Liberty, but I don't know. I don't really like drawing that. Maybe it's a bit too much. And, you know, random things like my camera, my film camera that I brought, um, bagels, coffee, a blue jay bird that I really love because I love drawing birds. And it's blue, so it fits the team. <laughs> However, um, I have always a really hard time with filling up a image, if you know what I mean. So for the for the end result, I really want to draw more plants like in, in pots and just realistically <laughs> like plants in a coffee shop, not random like this, and maybe a few random. And I think I want to do like the bird a bit bigger and something a little smaller. So it has a bit more of a better composition because this is honestly very very bad
so this is the most exciting thing i'm picking up an order for some of you guys astra i think it's your name and she's from new zealand so i'm picking up an order to new zealand which is so exciting um if you're new here i have a little web shop which will be there somewhere in the description box down below uh i usually ship within europe but i can also ship to other countries uh just let me know and uh, send me a little message you can send me a message on here on youtube or on my website as a contact form and i just felt like mentioning it because it honestly is such a it is such a milestone for me it is also quite a big order which i also really really grateful for and uh, lately i have been really in doubt if i should continue doing this little web shop thing because i barely make any money out of this like i make a few hundred euros a year <laughs> doing this and last year i went to a market which was very fun um don't think it will be on this year sadly i had really hoped to sell some of my result prints because I have many, many, many reason prints of this one I made a video about before. This is a card, but I made an A3 sized poster it's over there in a smaller size and it hardly got sold. And I really need to get rid of those. Um, so yeah, but it's been a this order. It's been such a big motivation to make this video again and another series of reason prints. Um, so just for that alone, Thank you, Astra. Very much appreciated. Okay, so it's been a while since I've worked on this project and the printing evening is tomorrow. So I have like 24 hours left to make this drawing and um, decided to go a different way. I've made several sketches and currently I am using this one. It's inspired by a sketch I did at, when I was in New York. Just I made this as a public library, so I made this as. Bleh. So I drew this um, when I was sitting at the public library, and I really loved it because it's all these random things from New York together that inspired me, and that's what I really want to see back in my prints. And I've tried different things, like of course I've tried this one. Oh, there's a dollar. <laughs> and then I was thinking last night about maybe. Yeah, doing something more simple if like a person because it's more like a self-portrait about me in new york which sounds, sounds very self-centered <laughs> but honestly i mean all these videos are self-centered i guess i am a pretty self-centered person i'm i'm sorry it's just <laughs> the way it is and then i realized i have this picture of me that i am drawing in central park because i just saw a red cardinal birds and I drew it and I made a little video about it, which I'll show here, so I hope. <laughs> and that was the inspiration then, because I do like to draw a little bit more plants and birds. And of course, Central Park is the perfect moment for that, because I have a hard time uh, piecing all these little things together, like the bagel, the coffee, this, <laughs> this pizza, I don't know <laughs> what is going on. And at this point, I am honestly a little fed up with this project and I can't wait for it to be finished.
show the progress so far. I absolutely, absolutely despise this. <laughs> it's awful. I don't really like birds. And I am now considering just maybe cutting that one out and use that one because I don't really have any time anymore uh, because I have to get it done in a few hours and I have to leave for the, for the evening and I have to print. However, the thing for now is I think I'm going to let it dry, scan it in and then add a whole lot of more details in Procreate like the faces and and a bit more color. I'm gonna make this pink because this doesn't work. And uh, add some details here because that looks very, very, very crude. And especially also this. Ugh. I don't really like the pencil. So, but I have to say it is growing on me and I, well, it's not my best work, but it's just like a sketchbook, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna go and let this dry and have a little walk and an ice cream because it's like it's spring <laughs> and just return and hopefully fix this and procreate for at least a little bit i'll just add some details a few more leaves and hopefully that will work out Okay, I just, I think I just finished right on time. I have my little vials ready while shoving my food in my mouth. Um, I'm now going to the print making workplace. Anyway, it started at seven, but it's 6.30 now and I'm going to the, there already because um, the resale machine is very popular on evenings like these. And it's like a first come first serve kind of thing. And I also work there so they know me so I can enter earlier. Um really 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 curious how it turns out. I hate my drawing <laughs> but I guess it's all part of the experiment and I'm gonna embrace it. finished prints there might be a little background noise but it's raining even though the sun is shining they are a lot more purple than was my intention I used the program spectral lights and the program already said it would turn out a little bit more purple I don't know why because I did use a lot of blue but I could see when I printed the, the, the pink layer first 
There was so much pink in both prints where there should have been blue. Just to show you, this is the original watercolor painting. <laughs> so yeah, that's something entirely different. I don't mind, I don't mind. I also used a paper that's a bit more yellow, so I think that makes it even more purple. I do love it. It's very, very deep, a really, really deep purple that I really, really love. But also, I have mixed feelings. <laughs> um, I think I do like this one. And for this one, I'm not entirely sure. But it was fun to make. And it isn't perfect, but it is, I think, good to experiment. This year, like 2024, for me, really is the year of experimenting with my style. Um, I know I'm not good at these kind of sketchbooky collages kind of thing. Really hard time with filling a, a space, I guess. So just to make a drawing and fill the whole page, for me, that's really, really difficult. And uh, this was a good practice. I think, I personally think I have failed, but that's okay. And for this one, it's better. But here I have like tried to use an analog style and made it like with Rizzo a little bit more digital. And I'm not sure if I like the look. It's maybe a bit too sloppy for me, but it was a fun experiment and I guess that's all what it's all about. So yeah, why not? So, oh yeah, this is the original. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure why it turned out so purple. And I think I could have like changed it in a program, but I was in such a hurry and I just thought, I like purple, let's try it. I have to say though, the, the kind of purple is very, very good. So I really like it. Um, so yeah, these are the prints. It is what it is. And I think it's, this is like, it's growing on me. I think I might put it somewhere in the house. I think the colors are really, really deep and I really love that though. So yeah, bye.